So for those who don't know me, my name is Rick Hill. For those who do know me, my name is still Rick Hill. So um, today, this morning I'm going to talk a little bit about our tradition of Nuya. Uh, that's what we say at Tuscarora. Now my dad's a Mohawk from here. My mother's a Tuscarora from New York. So I grew up kind of like a ping pong ball. You know, when we were kind of mad at my relatives here, we'd go to Tuscarora. We're kind of mad at my relatives there, we'd come over here. But one thing um, that I remember most when I was a little kid was going around house to house during uh, New Year, collecting goodies from our family. And it seemed to be one of the few occasions at Tuscarora where uh, the tradition of the past was kept alive. So at Tuscarora, what they do <coughs> is that about a week before, they send a, a, to a, a young man and a young woman around from house to house. Uh, basically, they're, asked, they're announcing, we're going to have this big feast in the community on New Year's Day, January 1st. Uh, we're asking for donations, and they usually are organized so that they hit all of the clans, you know, the seven big clans at Tuscarora, they hit all the household, and you have to get ready. And you usually, they have, you have a bag of food ready, some canned goods, some potatoes, or whatever. So everybody's contributing their food to this communal feast. <clears throat> so they gather up the food, and they take it to the community hall, and then they have what they call uh, the hunt, which is organized with the men between what they call the old men and the young men. Now guess what the distinction is between the two? How do you become an old man? You have children. Right, children. Technically, they used to say in the old days, married with children. Uh, now we can say cohabitating with a lot of kids. But anyway, uh, uh, so when you become married and have children, you're then considered an old man. You can be 50 years old and have no kids, and they still call you a young man. So it's this competition between the old men and the young men about hunting. Then uh, they go about uh, going around house to house, New Yai. And it's pretty much the same in all of the communities. I think at Onondaga over in New York, they call it New Yai, uh, Tuscarora, New Yai. As you're going from house to house, though, uh, collecting goods, it, it used to be you just walk up to the house, holler New Yai twice, and walk right into the house. You don't wait for them to open the door. You don't wait for them to wake up because they're supposed to be ready. <laughs> and those that are really, really lazy, they'll make their cookies and pie and things, and they'll put a little table by the door. So you walk in, and you take your share, and then out you go. I noticed that today, a lot of the kids, first of all, they're afraid to holler New Year. Second, then they're afraid to walk in because they feel like, oh, no, we're not supposed to. But that's the one day in which you just, everybody's house is open to walk right in. There's two camps of thought. Some people would say, uh, take your time and visit, because it's one chance. Sometimes you get to visit to, with the people. Others are, you know, we want a big bag of goodies, so it's like, hey, how you doing? Nice, nice to see you, see you later. Out you go. Because <clears throat> you have from, um, they say, from daybreak until noon to go around house to house. They, they used to give out just um, cookies and uh, cupcakes and maybe a piece of pie for your special relatives. Oh, and then some fruit and vegetables. But at Tuscarora, then, when you go up to your father's relative's house, it's different. Because you holler New Year, but you also are letting them know, I'm a relative. This is my father's <coughs> relative's house. And so they're supposed to give you a special treat. And that special treat used to be a gingerbread man. <coughs> so your father's relatives would give you a gingerbread man and New Year, and everybody else would give you, uh, you know, what they cook best. So when I asked about this, what's the meaning of this gingerbread man? <clears throat> the Tuscarors have an old story. But they actually learn about New Yang from the, um, what we would call the Pennsylvania Dutch. The, uh, the, uh, they're actually German people who are living in Pennsylvania. Uh, the Amish people, the, um, and you know, the Mennonites here, they're, they're, they're descended from these uh, people. The Tuscarors were in North Carolina, 1713 or so. There was a big war going on, and they moved up north and they settled in uh, Pennsylvania before they came to New York. When they were settled in Pennsylvania, there were these uh, Germans they called Palatines, and they was, had an annual ceremony, a New Year ceremony, where they would go around house to house, shouting out this greeting for the New Year, and they would be given a gingerbread man. So the gingerbread man comes from uh, the Europe, and that whole thing, that whole story. So the Tuscarora women really liked this, so instead of a gingerbread man, they used to make gingerbread cookies in the shape of the clan animals. So when you walk up to somebody's house, they give you a bear clan house, you get a bear clan cookie, a beaver clan cookie, a deer, whatever. And 
I don't know how long that practice remained, because you know, they're in Pennsylvania in 1715 to, to 1780, and they moved to New York, up among the Oneidas, then they moved to Tuscarora, where we are over there, and then some of the Tuscaroras moved over here. So I don't want to say that we celebrate New Year because of the Tuscaroras learning this from Germans, but the Tuscaroras say that. So they actually say that they brought that uh, tradition here. It wasn't just the Tuscaroras, though, because they were also Senecas, uh, Cugas, uh, Onondagas, Oneidas, <coughs> uh, living in Pennsylvania at the same time. S but in all likelihood, the s origin of it is, comes from this uh, Germanic tradition. <coughs> 